doing this video today for my buddy Paul in South Carolina who wanted to see my grill design. He came down here and visited me. Wonderful people. This is kind of my design. Some of the ideas in the design are, are not mine. Um, and I give credit to Ernest Wadel, who is a uh, Chilean, uh, a gringo friend of mine down here. Mennonite, and he's, he's an artiste with a welder. But anyways, here's our grill. So on the inside, this bottom sheet here is really a piece of sacrificial panel. And I have a strap here, and another strap, I think there's a total of two straps here that you can easily just drop this panel out. It's just a rectangular piece, piece of uh, sheet metal. So that's kind of throw away item, and it's not really thick. So every two or three seasons, I'll throw that away once it gets old. The sides of it are super thick. If you look here, that's what about half inch thick right there, maybe three quarters inch thick with a lip on the top around. Okay. Inside this goes uh, a rack. And I'm going to show you that rack here on the ground first. The rack goes in. Alright, and this is how this, this rectangular panel goes in here that pulls the coals above the bottom of the ramp and lets the fat roll out the bottom. And again, this is another sacrificial panel that I can just throw away. And, and that's got two seasons. Two seasons on it? Mm -hmm. Two seasons on it. At this end of the, of the grill, I have a vent. And at the other end down here, I have a place that I put my charcoal in. And I can adjust the height with this as I see fit, or I can close it all the way. So it's tight, which I just weigh a lot. And this lifts up and it goes in. Okay? Or I can drop it all the way down. Okay. So, depending on what I'm cooking, I may close it all the way to control the heat, like a slow cooked Southern style pork, South Carolina style pork. This end also has, um, I call it my radon vent. Uh, that is a piece of artwork that uh, Ernest made by hand. And uh, I can rifle or change the uh, I can change the amount of air that goes into the, the grill with it, which is great okay all right and then finally is the grill okay so now I put this grill on which is what the food sits on and I can take this off with the food on it there's handles from either side and they'll nice and cool because they're wood uh, the grill itself is cold rolled steel. Not, uh, I'll just build another one if I need to. Plus, uh, I haven't spaced the, the bars, the grills, just so a hot dog wouldn't go through. What I do is I'll, I'll put my smoke fork on this end and the heat will be on that end. And the heat comes up through here and out through the stacks and I'll show those to you here in a minute. Okay, I need you to grab this from underneath. This is a latch that comes with it. I wish it had a sister latch on the other side that both came out at the same time. But it's pretty simple. It just comes out like that and it goes down with not a lot of weight. If you come back here, YouTube, YouTube. If you come back here, you see what weights lifts the lid and takes the weight off. The lid's really heavy. Is this is a leaf spring from a car, an old car, and we've got turnbuckles that uh, put attention on it, and obviously they're adjustable. I haven't had to adjust them, so it's pretty well, well tuned right now. And that is really a nice little thing. It's got a bolt here holding it in. This, um, I, I have to admit, is not my design. This is Ernesto's, Ernest's design for the lift. And then here are my control smokestacks where I can let my heat in or let my heat out, depending on what I'm cooking or how much smoke I want to get. Basically, I usually keep that one closed and this one I slide open or closed as I need to. Uh, we'll come back. Uh, legs are solid, tubes with little uh, foot pads.
hats on them, like uh, rover landing hats or something. And they keep it from sinking in, sinking in the really soft soil here. Also, on the front, I have a nice cutting board, which is dirty now, but I, I'm probably going to replace this. I replace it every so many years just to throw away on it. Um, and this is hardwood, Chilean hardwood. I don't even know what it is. But uh, it's at the right height that all I need to do is slide the meat on and off the grill. I don't have to go too far. Or I can even take a pot and just slide it on. It works perfect for that. So I like that. Okay, what would I do different about the grill? I would have put some hooks under here, which I can still do, I just haven't got around that, to hang my fork and uh, other utensils from when I'm cooking. And uh, that's probably the only thing I really would have done, done different. I started to put it on wheels, and I decided against it. Uh, it's harder to steal like this. 